Hi everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries here with some new vintage jewelry that I picked up on the weekend. But first, let me just show you what I have left from my sale. I still have this pressed glass Victorian Revival um, bracelet with the book chain. Still have that. I still have this sterling and garnet necklace. Um, this I have, and it's, um, I believe. France, right? Is it France? Oh boy. Souvenir, pronounce it on your own. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, but it's not sterling. It's uh, enamel and metal and, did I say sterling? It's enamel. It's not sterling. And, uh, I guess it's a famous statue and such. I'm not too familiar with it. I have that. Sterling Marcosite bracelet. This one was about eight inches. Then we have a few rings left. I have this one with the bright blue cut glass in sterling. That. I have this that I'm so proud of because I put my own, with my own hands, battery, a battery in it. Good, it's still moving. <laughs> for a second, I had to watch it for a split second to make sure the second hand was moving. So yeah, this fossil watch, um, put the battery in it this marcasite and tiger's eye and onyx ring and sterling this I guess quartz clear quartz and sterling ring same with this I love this one I wish it fit me I really do because I would keep it I love the sides very fleur de lis type with the uh, quartz crystal, sterling, and this really cute one that's not marked. I couldn't find a mark, but it tested positive for sterling. Brody and um, turquoise. That's a small size. Oh, this isn't for sale, but um, remember I bought the earrings, the two earrings, the sterling earrings, and so I was going to make a pendant out of it, and I did. I've got to make sure that's a little bit better up there because it looks like it's ready to open, but I made a pendant. And then I still have this one. This was with the uh, sterling and I believe it's 10 carat or 12 carat or 10 carat hearts and genuine diamonds. And these two coin cuffs. Remember I said I don't know why this is in such a weird condition, but it is. Looks like somebody poured acid on it, which I don't know why you would do. And I still have this sterling uh, pendant. It's a big one. And this really big greenish tiger's eye is all I can explain that it is. And that's sterling. It's a pretty old one. A larger size okay so if you're interested in any of those items just go ahead and email me at vintage.discovery21 at gmail.com and let me know if you're interested i use paypal only goods and services okay let's look at some of the things that i picked up last weekend this past weekend got this ring which is Kind of a rough um, lapis 
with a nice shank there. Really pretty on. I don't know what design you would call this, but I love this kind of design. It's really complimentary. Now, I, I don't have really short fingers, but they're, they're not very thin, thinner than they used to be. But um, it helps kind of, I think, elongate. So that's what the lap is. Pick that one up. Really pretty. Reminds me of another one that I got. I believe it was Carnelian, maybe? It's got a, a nice um, lapis, a lot of pyrite in there. I keep thinking there's something under my nail. It's not. It's the, it's the stones. <laughs> so that was cool. Really love that. Then we have this interesting shaped sterling and amber ring. I like the, uh, the shape of it. Gives another dimension, something different. Got that. This one also, an older ring. It's marked on the outside, sterling. So I like that also. Smaller size smaller for me so big for some it's a six and a half got that and this which is adjustable sterling mexico sterling i believe it's jesus made in mexico with a nice tiger's eye and it is a poison ring. Yep. That's also a nice design. I didn't polish it. I'm not going to. It kind of looks better with that design, I think, with a little bit of, you know, age to it. This one I thought was pretty. Kind of a honeycomb, but not designed with a little cut crystal and sterling. I wish it was a little smaller because then I would like to wear it more. This one is, can you guess by the design? Judith Ripka. Now I have one of my all time favorite rings from her that I will never give it up. And it's just, held up so well, the quality and the shine and the sparkle. Um, you probably saw me wear it before, but this has kind of um, a cognac uh, CZ and a really pretty tiger's eye. That's a nice specimen of tiger's eye right there. It's got the nice glow to it. Oh, this dog, really. Yeah, but it's too small for me. But her stuff is great. This is a six. Yeah, I must have had that, the other um, Judith Ripka, probably, oh my gosh, it's been at least 15 or more years. And I still love it. It's a little big on me now, unfortunately, but I still wear it. I'm just very cautious. I picked this up. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I thought it was really cute. Sterling with little turquoise. I don't know what you would call that. Like um, like a genie shoe. That's all I can think of. And this, you know, I like the vintage Morpho butterfly wings. This is um, probably a souvenir piece. Sterling from uh, Bermuda. Some of them come from Bermuda, some of them come from um, other tropical places. I think most of mine that I have come from um, Brazil. 
This is a really beautiful specimen. It's a pendant with a large bale. Yeah, beautiful. This one is curious. I think this is a synthetic um, Mexican fire opal, you know, synthetically made and also lab created opal on the outside with a lot of orange fire in it. I've seen real Mexican fire opals and I mean to get one of these to be real and this clear would be like so expensive. I've seen them a little bit cloudy, but they're beautiful. The the color of the orange is just really electric. And I love orange. So we've got that. It's very different. I like it. And the other ring is a little tiny lab created opal with some CZs. It's like a classic design with um, sterling, I think this is, yep, a five. Very pretty. Then I have this, which is really pretty, um, made by Star, star, I don't know how to, S-T-A-U-E-R, Stour, maybe, 925 with a piece of turquoise in it, really pretty. I do love elaborate things, but I do like simple things too, that's simply beautiful. And we have this, I tried polishing it up a little bit because it was really black. Um, this has TT Sterling on it, and it's got that kind of um, sunrise or starburst or whatever it is. Um, I was going back and forth um, with Gina, you know, Gina Gay, my pink bag, Gina Gay, um, about Bisbee, and because I'm interested in finding one, but you know, they say from my research. You really can never be 100% sure unless you get it from somebody who got it from the actual mine and then you know for sure. And But I think there's some out there that you could probably say is pretty close. It's got a little spider webbing. So I don't know. Either way, it's really beautiful. Got this sterling pendant. It's also a locket. And it's a very mellow looking cat. Let's see if I can get it open. I'm not good at getting open things like this on camera. It's marked 925 up there. It's pretty, even if you don't care to put anything in it, I st still think it's a really pretty substantial cat pendant. Then we have this, which I was really curious about at first. I thought at first, honestly, before I put my glasses on, I thought it was maybe malachite and lapis, but it's glass, like a marbled glass bead and sterling. Oh, the dog didn't bark all day, I'm not kidding. Not my dog. It's got this kind of a Rolo chain um, with these glass beads and sterling beads. And I'm looking for the clasp. So I can show you the clasp. Oh, yeah, it has one of these. Really? One of these that come out like that. And then you put it back in like that. I thought that was really neat. Right? Different. Got some really good weight to it too. Now this one got me a little bit puzzled because it's sterling and it says 18 karat. Now, I don't recognize this. I, I even posted it on a Facebook group and nobody seems to know. But I'm thinking, 
if it was 18 karat, I would think this would be a little bit darker. But I think it is a quality item. Uh, I like the clasp. I like the chain done very well. But I really want to find out where it's from. But it really is neat. I like the style of it. Even though it's got the tag here, I would definitely wear that in the front. And then this, which I love on this sterling and turquoise. I love when it has those the sterling bands through it. And the, not quicksilver, what do you call it? Um, liquid silver. And it kind of drapes when you put it on. This is the ends. I believe it is more sterling and it does also have, yes, sterling. It has that starburst up there or sunburst, I should say. But it looks really nice on how it kind of drapes when you get it straight. Really pretty. I would love to have a bracelet like this too. I'm sure there's one out there. I just, I like this. Needs a bit of polishing, but still really pretty. I'm not sure if these are turquoise though. That's something I would have to take a look at. I believe that is, but I mean, do they make turquoise beads this small? They're too perfect in my opinion, the color and everything. So, but that's okay. Still beautiful. Still love it. And that was it. That's what I picked up. Um, so all of this is available. And if you want to contact me in reference to any of them, the items that I showed, just send me an email at vintage.discoveries21gmail.com and make an inquiry. And I'll let you know if it's still available at the time when this posts. Um, to YouTube and glad to be back. Hopefully I'll doing, be doing a lot more videos, um, getting ready for my display case at the um, antique mall. And I'm gonna probably do a shop with me and show it. And also, as long as that may record, I'm gonna do, you know, go around the whole store because there's a lot of stuff there and uh, show what they have. So hopefully I'll be doing that soon. Well, I know I will be, but, you know, I, I don't predict much of anything anymore because when these surprises come up and hit me, you just never know. But um, trying to get better and just working through it and feeling like I want to record this all over again because all you're going to hear is dog barking. Hopefully it's not too loud. Sorry, I apologize. But um, I should close the windows next time. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, subscribing, and all your encouragement and kind words. I appreciate it. And I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.